Hello everyone, PS from PS Invest Plays here today. Fintech companies have disrupted banking industry and their stock prices have skyrocketed in the last five years. Is this trend going to continue or we expect a pullback? In today's video, we're going to look at two stocks in the fintech industry. We'll understand the business, their financials, review their technical charts using Elliott Wave Theory, and see how we can make money. So stick around. I think you'll like what I have in store for you today. The first one on our list is Square, ticker SQ. Square is a commerce ecosystem. The company enables its sellers start, run, and grow their businesses. It combines software with hardware to enable sellers to turn mobile devices and computing devices into payments and point of sale solutions. Think of Square as a company that offers full point of sale POS solution. Square provides more features for physical retailers. It has a more advanced POS with tools such as scheduling, employee and inventory management. It is ideal for new companies, companies with small dollar transactions, and mobile companies such as food trucks or companies that are moving from one state to another. The advantages of using Square for small business are that it offers low predictable fixed rate, it has no monthly or annual fee, no contract, user-friendly interface, free swipe card reader, free POS app, feature-rich all-in-one system, it can accept offline payments, and deposits are very quick within two business days. For consumers, Square has the Cash App, which resembles Venmo that is offered by its competitor, PayPal. It adds Bitcoin and free stock trading features, which Venmo doesn't. While it is true that Square's business does have a material connection to Bitcoin, it doesn't mean that the company is reliant on it to succeed. In fact, it is arguable that Square's constant innovation makes a case of just the opposite. Square doesn't need Bitcoin to reward investors over the long haul. The revenue for Square, revenue, gro gross profit, EBITDA, net income for Square over the last 12 months has shown a very good increase. The revenue increased by 156%. Gross profit increased by 55%. EBITDA increased by 565%. And the net income increased by 16% year over year. Now, let's look at the technical chart for Square. The bull wave that started for Square somewhere around 2016 is still continuing. The first three waves are completed and currently Square is in the fourth corrective wave. This wave is still not over. I think this wave should get over in the next six to eight months, which should bring the price down to in to around $195 to $210. I would not be disappointed. In fact, I would consider this as a buying zone. If you buy Square today, or if you buy Zoom when it drops by 10 to 15%, you can expect a 67 to 84% long-term long profit, which is approximately five to six years. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button. Now let's look at the next FinTech company, PayPal, ticker PY. PL. PayPal was founded over two decades ago 
and was acquired by eBay shortly after its IPO in 2002. PayPal initially served as eBay's main payment platform and gradually expanded to accept payments on other websites and payments via email, Facebook Messenger, its main app, which is Venmo, and also on its main platform. It expanded into physical retail market with a debit card, card swiping devices, and point of sale systems for merchants. It offers loans to small businesses via its working capital lending arm. Think of PayPal and Square as very similar companies, PayPal as a more mature company, and Square a very high growth company. PayPal generated 53% of its revenues in the US and the remaining 47% from the international markets last year. Both PayPal and Square are fintech that compete against each other. PayPal processed approximately $700 billion in payments in 2019. This dwarfs Square's $106 billion. However, Square continues to generate much stronger revenue growth than PayPal. PayPal is firmly profitable by GAAP and non-GAAP metrics for two main reasons. It's massive scale, which reaches over 200 countries and regions with support for 25 currencies. It enables it to squeeze consistent profits from a massive user base of 305 million active accounts. However, PayPal is less aggressive than Square in its ecosystem investments. The revenue, gross profit, EBITDA, net income has increased year over year by very good numbers. The revenue year over year increased by 25%, gross profit increased by 38%, EBITDA increased by 43%, and net income increased by 178%. Very good numbers. Now let's look at the chart and understand where do we stand for PayPal. The massive bull wave that started for PayPal in 2015 is still not over. It seems to be in the most, in the strongest bull wave, which is the third wave. And if we dive down into this third wave, we see that it has completed its first three legs up, or rather first two legs up and one correction, and currently is in the corrective phase, where I expect at least a 10 to 15% downside from the current price levels. Currently, I think PayPal is trading around $265, I expect the price to come down to approximately 225. I would not be worried with that price. In fact, consider that as a buying zone for PayPal. This pullback should get over in the next six to eight months. And then PayPal should march towards its leg up, which should take its price to $365 in the next five to six years. Now, considering that if you buy at today's price level or if you wait and buy at the downside, you can expect a 38 to 59% upside in the next five to six years. Let's summarize now. So for Square and PayPal, I expect in the short term, which is six to eight months, a 10 to 15% downside, which I consider as a buying zone. For the long term, which is five to six years, for Square, you can expect a 67 to 84% upside potential. Whereas for PayPal, it's 38 to 59% upside potential in the next five to six years. What do you think of this analysis? Which one would you pick? Leave a comment. As always, don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, and share this video with your friends and family. Until then, bye-bye.